I'm about to say Could mean the world's disaster Could turn your joy and laughter To tears and pain You know love is in me of love today So don't delay Sing your sing right away Cause hey, hey Hate's going round It's breaking many hearts and stop it, please, because it's gone too far. Uh, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, do. I just want to give a shout out to my brother Stevie. Now, I hope this day is finding you in good health today. Thought about you today, brother. Thought I'd give you a shout out. Um, and then get to this story. Um, that I really wanted to present because you know I always hear a lot of people talking about um, America's gonna be a socialist, and especially that um. Megan McCain, ah, and as a person that has grown up with, um, in a city that has had at least three socialist mayors, um, I think there's a lot of, um, uh, 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 there's a lot of, what you call it, residue, um, that they're, the institutions that they established, and, and to this day that I continue and people that live in Milwaukee continue to, um, that you know, be grateful because some of these institutions affect our quality of life. And um, so, being a person that has uh, had, like I said, a city with socialist mayors, I thought I'd give you a little history of um, socialism here in Milwaukee. You know, although uh, Wisconsin is widely remembered as the breeding ground of the communism which Hunter Joseph McCarthy many do not know that Milwaukee was the first and only major United States city to elect a socialist mayor Milwaukee didn't just have one socialist mayor the city had three socialism took root in Milwaukee in the mid 19th century with the influx of German immigrants who had participated in the 19 I mean the 1848 revolution in their home country. The ideal the idealism and activism of those Germans combined with the political corruption of the day and a large labor force made the socialist promises for better work conditions very attractive. That led to the election of the first socialist mayor of Milwaukee, Emil Sedell, who held office from nineteen ten to nineteen twelve, not very long. However, Milwaukee was not alone in the support for socialism, according to Milwaukee historian Tula Connell, author of Conservative Counter-Revolution, uh, Challenging Liberalism in 1950 Milwaukee. The city's socialism was part of a nationwide phenomenon. Socialism in Milwaukee in the early 20th century, century was part of of local movements nationwide that sought to eradicate economic and political inequality through enhanced worker control at the workplace and government ownership of utilities and other essentials like public transportation, you know, um, you know, electric services, things like that. Milwaukee stood out because it was the largest city governed so long four decades and well past the first decades of the 20th century by three mayors who identified 
themselves as socialists. Uh, let's see. Following Sedell's election in 1910, Socialist organizers in other cities turned Milwaukee into a verb signifying successful socialist reform. A man running for mayor in Oklahoma, for example, spoke of Milwaukeeizing Oklahoma City. Milwaukee also became a kind of mecca for socialists like Carl Sandburg, one of whom Sandburg Hall is named. That's the place here. Milwaukee's second socialist mayor was Daniel Hone. Um, who governed from 1948 what? how can it be? who governed from 1940 to 1948 and is probably best remembered for the bridge to Milwaukee South Side that has his name and most of y'all know it by that bridge that was on the Blues Brothers that that was cut off at that time it wasn't finished being constructed and um, they used it in the movie The Blues Brothers. Uh, so that's the home bridge for those of y'all who don't know. A little bit of history for those of y'all who haven't been to Milwaukee. The public has a better memory of the city's third and most recent socialist mayor, uh, Frank P. Zeidler, whose legacy remains evident throughout the city. Zeidler was mayor from 1948 to 1960. Uh, during the most turbulent phase of the 1950-54 McCarthy era. Now, Mayor Zeidler um, lives about, lived about, he just passed away a couple years ago. And Mayor Zeidler lived two blocks west of me. Um, and so I knew him very well. We, we still call him the mayor. He's the one I told you about. He got his house broken into and those brothers caught him. He was the, the people that robbed the house was caught within two hours. I was like, "Ain't that something?" Because he never moved. Um, he stayed in the neighborhood, and um, that's what I remember about Mayor Zeiler. And he was a very beautiful spirit. Um. Anyway, as Milwaukee became a hub for socialism. Many at the time were unaware of how it developed so robustly in the city in the first place. Much of its success was due to early political leaders like Victor Berger, a Milwaukee who co-founded the official Socialist Party of America in 1901. Berger bridged trade and socialism with his Milwaukee idea which united trade unions with the Socialist Party. He called this a two-armored labor movement. Berger believed, my sister went to Victor Berger, by the way. Um, Victor Berger believed that Mil the Milwaukee idea was not meant solely for Milwaukee. Any other major city could adopt it. Berger himself became the first socialist in the history of the U.S. to become elected to the House of Representatives. After he had helped Sedell become elected, Sedell's administration helped pave the way for the following two socialist mayors of Milwaukee. Sedell's administration cleaned up corruption by requiring elected officials to sign undated letters of resignation so that they could be forced to resign if their actions became corrupt. And the, trust me, Milwaukee had a lot of corrupt mayors. <laughs> Milwaukee's three socialist mayors decreased the city's debt and sought debt and sought to use taxpayer money responsibly. They also fought for free lunches and textbooks for children and helped found a precursor to the Milwaukee Area Technical College, better known as MATC. Zyler himself played a key role in finding in founding UWM Milwaukee. Kevin Abing, head act activist at the Milwaukee County Historical Society, Archivist, elaborated on the legacy of Milwaukee's socialist past. The socialists were known for having good, honest administration contrary to the corrupt mayors of the past, said Abe. They introduced reform in the administration that really stuck, and they stressed efficiency, which the city came to expect from their government. There are visibly reminders of our socialist past, like the park systems, 
and the city planning. They also focus on issues of pollution, congestion, and overcrowding. These three mayors shaped the way Milwaukee continues to operate today. They valued recreation and supported the urban sustainability. Socialist Park Commissioner Charles B. Whitnell, who's named after Whitnell Park, um, for example, built Milwaukee County's expansive park system in 1920. Public works were also a prime focus. Lincoln Memorial Drive and Lakefront Development began one of their prime accomplishments. The socialist entering City Hall was a key event in Milwaukee's history, said Amy. Who knows when or if these ideas and institutions would have been incorporated without them. True to their promise to laborers, the socialist mayors supported union organizations and advocated for worker safety. The Wisconsin Socialists actually created the nation's first state workers' compensation system in 1911 and the first unemployment compensation law in 1932. See, so a lot of y'all that, you know, talk down on socialism, um, me coming from a socialist, you know, city, um, some of these things that you guys take for granted were actually created by socialists. The socialists were strong supporters of public housing. Garden homes completed in 1923 became the first instance of municipally sponsored public housing in the United States. The socialists also advanced reforms in public health, especially in Sedell's era, and developed vaccination campaigns and postnatal care. You know, I'm not saying it didn't have any of its flaws, but I have benefited from social programs. Okay, so that's, you know, and these, these Institutions that were set up by socialists. Um, let me finish. Even though one of the most prominent female leaders of Milwaukee's socialist movement was the wife of Victor Berger, uh, suffer, suffragist Meta Schitzlinberger. The political movement was not progressive towards people of color until the election of Zeiler in 1948. Like I said, Mayor Zeiler was the bomb. Um, anyway, I miss that guy. I miss him during the Christmas holidays when he go out and put the lights up. Hey, how you doing? I said, Mrs. I said, you who helping you with your daughter? Let me not out there today with you putting the lights. Oh, they're too slow. He always had the most decorative house on the block. Um, Frank, well, Mr. Zyler was something else. And I miss him dearly. Um, anyway, Frank Zyler made the pursuit of human rights for all people an important part of his administration. His goal of social justice continued. Despite fellow Wisconsinite McCarthy's effort to stroke fear in the hearts of citizens across the nation. Since Zeiler stepped down in 1960, Milwaukee has not seen another socialist mayor. The Socialist Party faded away in part because the Democratic Party incorporated much of their ideas and their programs. <laughs> but many of the socialist institutions, especially in the parks and recreation, transportation, social welfare, public works, remain in place today, even if forgotten by current generation of citizens. More specifically, Milwaukee citizens. Decades of socialist governance remains an example of modern political actions and serves as a reminder of the good that occurred and lies in spite of the McCarthyism that originated in Wisconsin and threatened to destroy the nation through fear. And um, I'd like to thank uh, Anna Miller. Uh, for that article um, and just to give you a little history on socialism in a city that was known for socialist mayors for having socialist mayors all right hope that learned you something see you in the next video <laughs>